Welcome to ISTFA 2012. We're here on the expo floor at the Ultratech booth where Hino Patel is going to tell us about this fine piece of equipment. Hino? Hi, uh, my name is Hino Patel. I'm the Applications Engineer with Ultratech Manufacturing. And today I will be talking about um, our product ASAP um, IPS. Um, ASAP IPS is basically a digital preparation system um, to prepare samples um, of package devices as well as um, wafer level devices. Um, the IPS has submicron um, accuracy in the X, Y, and the Z um, axis. And um, so two of the techniques that uh, I will be discussing today is the, the thermal relaxation um, technique as well as the curvature correction um, technique that um, involves um, flat uh, plain air uh, samples derived out of thinning and polishing of, let's say, samples that are curved or um, have warpage in them. So the thermal um, relaxation technique basically involves heating up a sample um, to relax it um, down so that you can prep the sample at a, a planar level. So here you can see um, a stress die. It's basically a reflection of a Venetian blinds on um, just a regular die, um, which has some curvature in it. So at ambient temperature, you can see the curve on it, and then we heat the sample up at 110, and you can see how it flattens out. And, um, and then you can take it from there um, and you know, go ahead and do your sample prep at a relaxed state. So uh, basically, uh, the thermal stage basically is the thermal plate itself. There's a cable that connects to it, um, basically allows the programmed um, capabilities to heat the sample up according to the way you want them. Um, in the screen you'll see um, the thermal screen basically shows um, you know uh, capabilities of actually mounting the sample yourself on it using the wax set and wax melt um, and again setting a temperature that you feel is giving you the most relaxed state so basically again you can see a flip chip with a bow die um, and then when you heat it up, it's relaxed. And, um, and basically a typical process, getting down to 100 microns or less can be within an hour or so again. So, so that's the thermal. Here we can see actually a, a fringe pattern showing the capabilities of getting a planar sample. So at, and if you sam sample prep a uh, part at 25C, uh, which is ambient temperature, um, and then as we increase um, the temperature and so there are three samples that we did one at each temperature and you can see how so basically wider fringes mean higher planarity so going from the bullseye which is basically showing um, as the fringe get wider it gets more planar so at 80C they get a little bit more um, at 110 you can see a much wider uh, fringe count so basically showing higher planarity at higher temperatures now, if you have really, um, really stressed samples in a package device, as well as um, you know, really high warped samples, um, there's a 3D curvature correction that can go along with thermal, which allows for um, independent XY curve axis, as well as tilt to be um, controlled in curvature mode. So basically, at any point on this curve die, you can do an auto tilt and auto curve on them and it, it should be able to take into account of the warpage and you know, still give you a much plainer sample. So basically, um, the curvature screen shows us um, some, of the, um, some of the keys that uh, you would be able to use. You can use the auto tilt as well as the auto curve um, to automatically, the machine can calculate the curve for you and auto tilt it so you don't have to do any tilt adjustments or you can set your curve um, independent XY curves because most dies not you know and the X curve might be different from the Y curve so you can set independent curves as well so the machine can follow those so um, basically <coughs> that's the curve um, so here you can see a pre-polished die um, so it's a pre-polished not a final polish so you can see the curvature pyramid on it um, in a spiral pattern so you can see how the curve is followed in a, in a pyramid method and then um, once you do a final polish you can see a basically a 3D thinned um, very close to planar um, flat sample using uh, thermal as well as 3D curvature um, and it, 
again, as little as an hour um, per sample. So um, basically, um, that's about it. Um, Fantastic. Hino, <laughs> thank you for your time today. Thank you. And for more information on Ultratech, visit ultratechusa.com. Yeah.